Ares 35, this is Commander Kambase. I'm in a bit of a bind right now, and I would appreciate your assistance on several matters. The welfare of my troops is important to me. As you likely know, the Accord has been mustering here to prepare for our invasion of Devil's Tusk. I'm concerned that the local criminals are taking advantage of my troops. You won't believe the latest scam I heard. Some of the more organized criminals have been telling the troops that the death benefits provided by the Accord are a joke. Worse even, that they're offensive. They are convincing Accord troops to buy life insurance policies through them. The catch is that all they have to do is put 3% down. I guarantee they have no intent on ever paying up. Please, walk around and speak with my troops. Convince them to take another look at the Accord's benefits. They're actually quite generous. And tell them, under no circumstances should they give up any money to the syndicates. None whatsoever. Hi there. Commander Kim Bess asked us to have a word with everyone. He said the syndicates are pushing a life insurance scam and he wants everyone to please ignore them. It's no good. Oh yeah? Thank you for letting us know. I'll be sure to spread the word. I saw their offer. It looked promising at first, but I did have my suspicions. Appreciate the lieutenant looking out for us. Hello, we're speaking on behalf of Commander Kimbes. Just a quick public service announcement to be extremely wary of life insurance policies offered by the syndicates. Bit of a scam, really. Also, we wanted to emphasize that the benefits offered by the Accord was quite good, and in the very unlikely incident that something were to happen, your family will be taken care of. Of course they say that. They always say that. They got to, just to exist. But I wouldn't trust the bureaucracy any more than I would the syndicates. Everyone's out to make some cash. Oh my. Well, for what it's worth, I've read over your terms, every sentence. And I can say it looks very solid. Very solid indeed. I would feel safe in the Accord's hands. <laughs> well done, 3-5. I heard the chatter amongst the troops regarding the Syndicate scam. Hopefully that's one less headache for me to worry about. All right, next on my list are my green recruits. Taking these guys to Devil's Tusk is just gonna break my heart. You don't get more inexperience than these ones. What I'd like you to do is to take this seismic device. It mimics the effects of a thumper. Head out to this location and use it. I've asked my green recruits to meet you out there. I want them only to observe, not fight. Show them how to defend a point, and they should get a sense of the overwhelming numbers of local phoner that can respond to seismic activity. Thanks, 3-5. I appreciate you going out there and teaching them. I do it myself, but I'm already feeling stretched too thin at the moment.
Andy, thanks, 3-5. Judging from their vital signs, I think they had a rude awakening out there today. Good for them to see how things can get out of hand in a moment's whim. Well, this was really a problem I did not want to address, but it can't be ignored. We're missing several barrels of methylamide from yesterday's supply drop, and it isn't the first time. This product is dangerous, and it has a tendency to be misused. I need you to track it down, please. I planted a chem trace on it yesterday just in case theft happened again. It's time to leverage that. I've just transferred the security keys for that tracker to your sin. If you go to this location, you should be able to read a chem trace of where the barrels went. Outside your sphere of comfort. Come on, boys, let's make them comfortable. Okay, looks like we have a good lead. Let me process the data from the trace real quick. just showed up. Tear him apart! Could have had a real 
real catastrophe on our hands. My men should be able to find them thanks to those flares. I have definitely asked too much of you today. But you have been invaluable in so many ways. I am definitely feeling better about the troops at the moment. Come back to me and I'll pay you for your time. Fantastic! Mission accomplished. I'll have to take stronger measures to prevent thieves from stealing our supplies. That could have had awful consequences. You are truly a friend of the Accord. Don't go blowing this money on the syndicates, you hear? Wish us luck at Devil's Tusk. We do, Commander. And courage and strength. We believe in you and your troops. Go give them hell. That is exactly what we intend to do. To chow! Boss, we're getting contacted by command. Seems they want us to help out preparing for the Accord's invasion of Devil's Task. There's some experimental tech that needs testing. The lead researcher is looking to talk to us. Eris 3-5? Yes, of course you are! I'm Sid, scientist, researcher, and theoretician at large. Accord payroll Haven't heard of me? You must not be acquainted with the... Laboratory shut-in circles I tend to frequent. Anyway, we've got some tech to test. Seems we're going to be pushing hard into Devil's Tusk, you know. <laughs> Hawaii, fire, heat, restless natives, angry chosen intent on our utter annihilation. We need to make sure your battle frame won't burn you to a cinder. Swing by my lab, and we'll get to work on some modifications. Well, hello there. Harry's pilot, hmm? Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, you're my test subject. That's right. I asked for you. I'm Zed. Did I mention that? Zed? Never mind about rank and titles and all that. I make things. That's all you have to know. Super. Elite. Techie. Thing. My name? We have the Romans to thank for it. Seems they weren't too good with the Greek language. Changed Zeta to Zen. Don't you know anything about history? Fine. How about I'm the final word? Zed is the fighter of it alone. Forget it, slow. Okay, 3 5. Devil's Tusk is a hot place. One of the Accord is going to be spending a lot of time in, if I understand correctly. We're going to need to be prepared. There he is. Those battle frames of yours need to be modified. Otherwise, once things get hot and heavy in Devil's Tusk, I need you to try out this modification for me, see? These conduction rods act as heat collectors, which at a given threshold funnel your battle frame's energy into this exterior chassis, dispersing their... Uh, you know what. It keeps you cool. It's a vent. A big vent. I need you to test this mod for me. Head out and meet up with Private Durst. He'll be your sparring partner. I'll be monitoring the mod's performance from here, don't you worry. Kick his ass, say, in a friendly way. Boss, this guy 
is already starting to drive me crazy. Ares 3-5, thanks for sparring. I hear Zed souped up your battle frame, huh? We'll need it once we breach Devil's Tusk. Let's give it a test. I won't hold back. Ooh, that was fantastic! Practically floating out there! Did a deuce check burn feel good? Well, I would call that a success. You're an excellent guinea pig, 3-5. Time to up the ante. I'm going to tweak your modification a bit. We're going to try something fun this time. Do you like shites and giggles? Wait, that's not how the phrase goes. Anyway, we're going to convert that excess heat into some firepower. Literally, firepower. You'll be the envy of every firecat in Seltown. Head over to your next partner, Corporal Linhold. She won't know what hit her. I'll retune your mod and activate it once you get there. on that LGV's hard drive. I'm sending you a data worm to pull the data from there. Hey there, 3-5. A pleasure. Let's get down to it, shall we? Zed told me all about the little sparring match. I'm a little more mobile than your last partner. Hope you're ready. Okay, the data worm's working. Try not to break it. Expensive, boss. Wow, that's some serious firepower you're packing. Zed really knows his stuff, doesn't he? Sorry to interrupt your little chit, but I've had word of a chosen patrol passing through the area. We're the only ones nearby. Command is asking us to engage the enemy. Perfect! A field test! No time for me to disable the modifications, 3-5. You'll have to go in there, mod active and guns blazing. The dead worm's dead. You owe me a new one. Put that modification to good use, and light that chosen patrol up! <laughs> Time for some fireworks! Be careful with that modification, boss. I don't trust Zed's sanity enough to believe you'll be safe out there. The Chosen are dangerous enough by themselves. Alright, almost there! <laughs> Make them feel the burn, 3-5! to my lab and we'll square things away. Got to get back to work. The math, it beckons me. Not bad, 3-5, not bad. My modifications, that is. Feel tested and ready to go. Almost suitable for human use. You were okay too, uh, <laughs> Fighting the Chosen, that is. I like your gunplay. It was all shooty and made things burn. <laughs> Devil's tusk, here we come! 
Well, that was interesting, to say the least. I'll admit, Zed's modification came in pretty handy. Let's hope he keeps it practical, too. I what got can I get for you? Appreciate Boss, I'm receiving some disturbing reports from Sheriff Nasseri about a string of crimes in the Crown. I'll let her explain. Ares 3-5, mighty kind of you to hear me out. I need your help investigating a series of murders in the area. These murders have the smell of a spree about them, but they're spaced too far apart to be the result of random rage. There has to be some common element to them. I refuse to believe that a civilian has started going crazy for no reason. The attacks are right on the edge of my jurisdiction, so if you could lend a hand and examine the crime scenes, I'd be much obliged. Just keep me apprised. We'll get right on it, Sheriff. You can count on us. Definitely unusual. There are very few scuff marks. Looks professional. No identifiable weapon signatures. Let me check something with Sheriff Nasseri. I think this is all we're going to find here. Not much to go on, I'm afraid. Let's head to the second crime scene. I'm sure we'll find something there that'll provide a pattern. just like the first one, in every way. It's almost as if someone is trying to murder off the grid. Excellent work, you two. If we can get to this new location and stop a murder before it happens, we might be able to get to the bottom of this. All right, boss, let's head to that location the sheriff found. We might be able to prevent the next murder. Someone here already? Who is dead? You! What are you doing here? Who are you? Hey, hey! Whoa there! Who am I? Who are you? I'm just minding my own business out here, sweetheart. Sweetheart? What nerve? Listen, you little. Hey, that guy's coming right for us. You see that? Stay sharp! Sheriff, this is Arrow. We found our perpetrator, but it looks like someone gained remote access to his sin. He was being manipulated, going after one of the black hats. Black hats, huh? Very strange. The black hats are the ones who could pull this kind of thing off. But why would they attack one of their own? This isn't their style, though. They're not violent. They're just a bunch of loner kids more at home in sin than in the real world. Should we bring in the perpetrator? I'll send a deputy out to get him. You never mind. I get the sense he's not the one we need to worry about. 
I think it's time we talk to the Black Hat leader, Ikenya. He tends to move around a bunch. A bit paranoid. But hey, if you spend that much time in a fake world, the real world would probably be a little scary. Sheriff Nasseri, you hearing this? Oh, I'm hearing it. Looks like we found our lead. All right, listen. These are still our guys, okay? I don't know what kind of dirty business they've got wrapped up in, but there has to be a reason. Hey, Kenya, I think the time for excuses is over, don't you? These are murders we're talking about. I can't ignore this. Ares 3-5, it's time we put a stop to this. If Kenya would be so happy to let us in on where his buddies are hanging out, we'll have to go put a stop to him. Fine, just don't tell me anything more. I don't want to know. 3-5, go visit them and get whatever information you can about their angle. If they turn violent, well, I'm sure you know what to do. soldier. There's some data here. I'm not sure what it is, but it carries an accord encryption signature. But what does this have to do with the murders? Why kill their own? Revenge on the blackheads that wouldn't join them? I have no idea, but I know that I don't like the sound of this at all. We might have put a stop to the murders, but I think we've got something bigger on our hands. I'll let your superiors know that you're to be rewarded for your efforts. This isn't good, boss. Does this mean that the Accord are somehow involved? Perhaps something is going on at the airbase? I don't know, but whatever it is, I don't think we're going to like it.
Boss, a court command is looking to speak with us. Seems they need our help with a counterintelligence op. I'll let them explain. Ares 3-5, we need your help in engaging the Chosen. Please report to Commander Kambase at the airfield for details. Cryptic, is Command trying to scare us or something? Please tell me it's not working. You will have the supports of Fireteam, Bravo, Echo, and Whiskey. They will have other tasks to attend to as well, but you are to stay focused on your objectives and carry them out. Do not deviate from them, is that clear? Your objective is straightforward enough. You will assist Fireteam Bravo in eliminating a chosen strike force skirting along the perimeter of our sin radius. They look to be a mean bunch, so be prepared for a heavy firefight. This will draw the Chosen's attention to your location, so fire teams Echo and Whiskey can engage the enemy somewhat unmolested. Take this recorder and activate it immediately. Let it run through the entire operation. For security purposes, this is a local recorder only. Its storage capacity should be more than enough. Chosen strike force is getting close, 3-5. Be prepared. Fire Team Bravo will join you once you arrive. I hope Command puts that recorded data to good use. The Chosen are revising and improvising at every turn. I'm not sure there really isn't up to date when it comes to combat data. At least, not by the time it's analyzed. Chosen snipers! 3-5, detach from Bravo and take out those snipers. They'll tear right through Bravo team. Leave the rest of your squad. Once the snipers are eliminated, rejoin Bravo and clean up whatever chosen or left. chosen data relay if we destroy that advice it'll cut off the chosen's feed for the general area effectively rendering them limbless and without backup the target's location is on your sand this task will take you through another chosen patrol but the patrol is not your target neutralize them if you must but destroying the data relay is your top priority Fire Team Charlie will rendezvous with you at the target location and engage the enemy with you. Let them do their job. You do yours. The chosen data relay is close, boss. Take it out as soon as you can. Excellent. I heard that explosion from here. The chosen won't be communicating with their headquarters anytime soon. 3-5, I hate to break up the party, but it looks like Fire Team Whiskey's in trouble. They're being overwhelmed by Chosen at their position. Looks like the Chosen decided to get serious and call in a Warbringer. Get over to Whiskey's position and destroy that Warbringer, 3-5. Those soldiers are not gonna make it out on their own. It's on your sin. Get going!
The Warbringer is getting close. Those things take quite a touch. Draw its fire and whittle it down. Starting with is depending on us. up in the area. Your role in this operation is finished. Head back to Tecumseh Air Base and drop off that combat data. I'll be sure you're properly rewarded for this. Command needs to know how much of an asset you are to the Accord. We are one step closer to fighting off these Chosen for good. Keep this up and you'll earn more than a few commendations before your career's over. Excellent job, 3-5. We'll be sure to keep you in mind for similar missions. You've upheld the Ares name quite well. Ares 3-5, this is Command. We've developed a countermeasure against the Chosen that we believe you'd be an excellent fit to test. We're going to reroute you to Commander Kambase at Tecumseh Air Base. 3-5, this is Commander Kambase. I'm assuming the Command told you a little bit about what we're doing. We have an opportunity to gain valuable information on the Chosen's purpose in Sertau, as well as remove one of their key players from the equation. Head by and talk to me at Tecumseh. I will brief you then. Now, before we capture Howard, there are a couple of chores we have to tend to. The stasis field has looked promising in lab tests, but we can't utilize it in combat until we've tested it in the field at least once. Soon as it's been verified as working, we can use it on the Chosen Commander. We're gonna test it out on a Chosen Commander who keeps popping up on our radar. The guys have taken to calling him Howard. I assume because it carries guns the size of howitzers. Clever. I know. We don't know his real name. But the Chosen do have names. Even if only amongst themselves. It's best to remember that. Even if we... Howie is always accompanied by an escort of juggernauts wherever he goes. Anything that gets near, gets nuked. He knows how valuable he is, and knows he needs to stay protected. Either that... Or he's a coward. Needless to say, this is a rare and potentially game-changing opportunity. We have to play it right. Go to the waypoint I pushed to your sin. It's time for field testing. The field interacts with the nervous system of biological life forms, effectively rendering them incapacitated and unable to move. Just find a local creature, injured enough to weaken it, and then use the field on it. We'll be monitoring the results. You're going to meet with Special Operative Hunt. In charge of Strike Force Theta, he'll be your liaison and CO from this point on. He's a bit rough around the edges, but hey, you're a people person, aren't you? Follow his orders exactly. His squad has been training for this op for a while. I've marked his location on your sin. 
You'll be helping him lead the charge on the Chosen Commander and his Juggernauts. Give him hell, 3-5. Five. Shh. Keep it down. You're like a goddamn elephant. You make enough noise for ten of my men. Special Agent Hunter. Strike Force Theta. We're going to get close enough to Howie to smell the bastard's breath. We fight through this juggernaut guard, and you place him in stasis. That's your role in this. He's not going to go down easy, though. We'll have to injure him in order for the stasis field to work. Which one is the commander, you ask? The biggest one with the biggest gun, of course. Makes the juggernauts look like toddlers with squirt pistols. We don't have any time to waste. Head to these coordinates I just pushed to your sin. We'll meet you there. As soon as you engage the enemy, we'll open fire. And don't forget to burn through those juggernauts. You won't be getting to Howie with them in the way. Stay out of sight, play it smart, and you'll come out alive. Get going. Got to eliminate the juggernauts first. Take those bastards out. Don't look like a rookie out there, 3 5. Got one. Howie himself. Be careful. Even without his juggernaut guards, he's no joke. No, he's injured. Use the steady field. Woo! That's how we do it. Stay down. Your big guns don't matter for crap anymore, do they, Howie? Bad, 3-5, not bad. You're still sloppy as hell, but I like it. Suits you. Not strike force data material, but you get the job done. Why don't you head back to Commander Kimbase? We'll take care of old Howie here. Make sure he gets the deluxe accord treatment. Yeesh, what a monster. Think he'll tell his real name? Ah, screw it. It'll always be Howie to me. Nice going, 3-5. I hope Special Agent Hunter didn't give you too much trouble. He loves giving people a hard time, especially those he just met. We're going to be having a chat with the Chosen Commander. The intelligence he'll provide will undoubtedly prove invaluable. This will also send a message to the Chosen. We have one of yours, and we know you're coming. 3-5, the Accord thanks you for your efforts. We've taken the next step in establishing a war paradigm today. Point where a core technology gives us the upper hand yet again. I hope Command doesn't celebrate their tech so much that they forget about the common soldiers. Boss, we're being contacted by Zed, the Accord Advanced Technology Researcher. Looks like he wants to talk to us about some crazy photonic arcful drone or something. I really have no idea. I'll let him do the talking. Here it is, 3-5. It's time we did a bit of joint research. 
Devil's task awaits, and we have to be as prepared as possible. It's not the friendliest of environments, what with all the heat and lava and bloodthirsty chosen. I'm glad you're so eager to be my guinea pig. The drone needs to be placed at specific junctions in space. Those which easily align with relative positions in Devil's Tusk. We take this drone here and gather as much information on Devil's Tusk as we can. The drone creates a miniature low-impact arc fold and siphons information through the rupture in space-time. Oh, don't worry, it's perfectly harmless, provided you don't stick your fingers near it. The data piggybacks on light, basically. The drone sends light bouncing into the other side. I snag the data and convert it into synthesized photon patterns, which are sent back through the tiny arc fold in bursts. <laughs> then I reconvert the data digital to analog. That's... actually pretty brilliant. A true believer! <laughs> now you finally understand. Your role is simple. You take the drone, bring it to the locations I ask, and let it do its work. Keep it safe, and I shall analyze the data that comes back from the art form. And mark the location on your map. Good luck! The drone is under attack! Make sure it doesn't get damaged! Aside from your endangerment, but what 
our soldiers fall. Based on the data we collected, I'm going to recommend an armor upgrade to command. Looks like the terrain in Devil's Tusk is more varied in height than I expected. We should upgrade our battle frames to better absorb damage from falls. We can even use the resources at hand. Some local wildlife in Serto have hard shells we could use as a model for how to reinforce our alloys. Always trust it. Said we just killed a whole bunch of animals. But you didn't kill the right animals, did you? You stay with me here. I'll give you the location of the creatures we need. Just get in there, get some car faces, and get out. No problem for a walking gun like you. You're getting close to those creatures, 3-5. Try to leave their carapaces as undamaged as possible. Sure, shoot them, but don't harm them. Fragments will do, my dear. Pristine fragments.
menace. And you're no worse for the wear. All's well then in with, right? Well, despite the ambush, I did manage to crack some more data. However, I shall have to do a bit of private deconstruction. Regarding the drone, seems there were some bugs to work out, for the operator's safety and all. Just head back here with my drone, drop it off, and we can be on our respective ways. Oh, Deus. I get the feeling that he's enjoying this. I'm reporting this guy to command. In the end, we collected some valuable information on Devil's Tusk. Air, terrain, environmental hazards. We're much better off than we were. And with the carapace-inspired armor upgrade, we'll be better prepared for all the jagged volcanic peaks out there. Your efforts have not been in vain, Ares 3-5, have no doubt. You almost got us killed. Twice. Almost doesn't count, now does it? Do or do not, I say. I'm glad we got some good data out of that mess. Otherwise, I'd travel out there myself and strangle Zed with my own two hands. 